Now, we are no stranger to recall elections here in Wisconsin, and now some voters are trying to recall the current governor. A Burlington woman formally filed the paperwork against Governor Tony Evers last Friday. But as Mary Jo Ola reports, forcing a recall election is a challenge. Menominee Falls is just one of the communities where organizers collected signatures to recall Governor Tony Evers. They have now less than 60 days to gather nearly 700,000 names. I just think Governor Evers has done a poor job and it's time to remove him. Monday morning, people lined up ready to sign petitions to recall Governor Tony Evers and Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes. Sites like this are popping up across Wisconsin. Some of the people signing tell us the governor's handling of protests and violence in Kenosha is the main reason they're here. And I don't think that he took enough action soon enough. Now all of a sudden that they've been called out, now they want to make it good. Well, the, the toothpaste is out of the tube. It's too late. And now we want to restore justice. We want to restore stability. Election officials say the number of signatures required to trigger a recall is 668,327. In 2012, former Governor Scott Walker made history when he survived a recall election. Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett, who went up against Walker then, opposes the recall of Governor Evers. Governor Evers has a 57% approval reading. He's bent the Kenosha. He's working with local officials, working with the National Guard to make sure that order is maintained in Kenosha. And so I would be very, very surprised if it moved forward at all. We reached out to the governor's office for comment, but we haven't heard back. In Menominee Falls, Mary Joola, TMJ4 News.